Hi, now let us consider spherical polar coordinate system. So, if you have a point in spherical point in spherical polar coordinate system, then it will be specified by three coordinates r, theta, and phi. Suppose consider this point P. Now, this point P is described in in Cartesian coordinate system by x, y, z coordinates, and this will be described in spherical polar coordinate system by r theta and phi then this angle theta is said to be polar angle and angle phi is the azimuthal angle azimuthal angle okay now if you consider this point then in in special in spherical polar polar coordinate system this point is specified by first the coordinate r here r is the radial distance from the origin this is so r is the radial distance from the origin namalu cylindrical coordinate system you see the for rho phi z you see the undirunu and in that case rho was taken to be the perpendicular distance from the z axis this is in the case of cylindrical coordinate system okay but here namal r you see the radial distance from the origin ana okay then what about phi phi and theta theta is the polar angle polar angle on theta that is angle down the z axis this position vector may this nammal ee point lekulla position vector r angle down the z axis on theta and phi is nammal ee point inde projection xy plane il consider kiya then id consider id include cheyina or plane consider cheyana this plane this plane with respect to x axis make in angle on phi okay now if you if you consider the coordinate r it can vary from 0 to infinity r can vary from 0 to infinity and theta what about theta theta can start from 0 and it can go up to phi 180 degree vare povan pattum so theta can starts from 0 and it can go up to phi now what about phi this phi is same as this phi in cylindrical coordinates and phi coordinate and the same and the azimuth angle ana so as like so what phi 0 nu start cheyum 360 degree vare 2 pi vare vary cheya so phi can start from 0 and it can go up to 2 pi these are the ranges of values of the the r theta and phi okay now if r is equal to 0 if position vector r 0 anengil theta yum phi yum undefined now now let us find out the transformation equation from cartesian coordinate system to spherical polar coordinate system okay so ee point yan consider idale ee point inde x coordinate um y coordinates um edu varum so this point ivada make in the projection edana ee projection ivada yan x ne correspond parallel aitra line draw cheya so this line is parallel to x axis So, you have a 90 degree cut in the radial line here. So, now y axis in a parallel to what are what are the line? I am drawing here projection. Now, this is what I am 90 degree make here an angle. Then this value is the x component, and this will be equal to y component. This is a y component. Okay. Now, if this is r, this is r an angle. So, this position vector r an angle. If I consider sine theta. sin theta will be opposite side by hypotenuse so this side will be equal to r sorry this side will be equal to r sin theta so if this is r sin theta and what about this side idu opposite this is adjacent side so cos theta component varum r cos theta irikku this side so if this is r sin theta ide distance aanu ivada varunathu so this is r sin theta r sin theta adhaayi idu sin r sin theta aanu ivada this or this side um r sin theta aanu okay now if this side is r sin theta then what about the sin phi yan ivada sin phi consider cheyidha sin phi is opposite side by hypotenuse so this side will be equal to so if nan ivade suppose i am naming this as a b and c 
c then sin phi will be equal to opposite side opposite side is ab ab by hypotenuse is cbc or cb now what about ab so ab will be equal to ab is equal to cb sin phi now what is cb cb is r sin theta so ab is equal to r sin theta sin phi now what is ab so ab is equal to this is ab ab is equal to y so y is equal to r sin theta sin phi now if i consider cos phi then cos phi is equal to adjacent side that is ac by hypotenuse hypotenuse again cb so this implies ac is equal to cb cos phi now what is cb cb is this r sin theta so this is r sin theta cos phi and what about ac ac is equal to x so x is equal to r sin theta cos phi and y is equal to r sin theta sin phi now what about z z z the point in the z component means this distance and that is r cos theta so z is equal to r cos theta so namak x component getti y component z ay so these three forms the transformation equations from spherical from cartesian coordinate system to spherical polar coordinate system now what about the unit vectors the unit vectors in cylindrical coordinate system will be rho cap now we have rho cap then phi cap and z cap so similarly in spherical polar coordinate system we have three unit vectors and they are rho r cap theta cap and phi cap this will be the unit vectors and if you consider spherical polar coordinate system we have three coordinate surfaces first one concentric spheres centered at origin with radius given by r is equal to root of x square plus y square plus z square and that is equal to a constant forms the first coordinate surface second one right circular cone centered on z polar axis what vertices at the origin and with the equation theta theta uh, uh, cone the equation theta is equal to cos inverse r cos means cos inverse z by root of x square plus y square plus z square is equal to some constant and then third coordinate surface is phi is equal to a constant and the equation of phi is tan inverse y by x and that forms a half plane through z polar axis now let us find out the scale factors in the, in the case of spherical polar coordinate system so we have the transformation equation x is equal to r sin theta cos phi y is equal to r sin theta sin phi and z is equal to r cos theta and we have in general coordinate in, co in curvilinear coordinate system d square is equal to h1 square du1 square h2 square du2 square plus h3 square du3 square so if you substitute u1 is equal to r u2 is equal to theta and u3 is equal to phi here then this equation will be equal to h1 square dr square plus h2 square d theta square plus h3 square d phi square okay now in cartesian coordinate system this will be equal to it will be equal to dx square plus dy square plus dz square now from here i can find out dx and from here we can find out dy and from d from the equation for z i can find out dz now if you find out dx then dx will be equal to nammal product rule apply cheyanam now r um theta um phi um variables aanu so first function into then derivative of first function r sin theta first function eduth derivative of cos phi kaanandi varum then r um cos phi eduth derivative of theta kaanana time le sin theta um cos phi eduth derivative of r kaanandi varum okay so this will be equal to r sin theta r first njan phi ne cos phi in the value cheya r sin theta eduthu 
ദെൻ ഡെറിവേറ്റീവ് ഓഫ് കോസ് ഫൈ കാണും ദെൻ മൈനസ് സൈൻ ഫൈ ഡി ഫൈ ആയിരിക്കും ഫസ്റ്റ് ടേം വരിക ഓക്കെ പ്ലസ് സെക്കൻഡ് നമ്മൾ ആറ് എടുത്തു ഇനി ഞാൻ കോസ് തീറ്റൻ്റെ സൈൻ തീറ്റൻ്റെ വേ ഡിഫറൻസിയേഷൻ ചെയ്യും സോ കോസ് തീറ്റ വരും ദെൻ കോസ് ഫൈ ഒരു ഡി തീറ്റ ടേം ഉണ്ടാവും പ്ലസ് ഇനി ആറിനെ ഡിഫറൻഷിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്യും സോ സൈൻ തീറ്റ കോസ് ഫൈ ആറിൻ്റെ ഡിഫറൻഷ്യൽ ഡി ആണ് സോ സിമിലർലി സെക്കൻഡ് ഇക്വേഷനിൽ നമുക്ക് ചെയ്യാം സോ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഞാൻ ആർ സൈൻ തീറ്റ എടുത്തു ഇനി സൈൻ ഫൈന ഡിഫറൻഷ്യല് കോസ് ഫൈ ഡി ഫൈ പ്ലസ് ആർ ഇൻറ്റു സൈൻ തീറ്റൻ്റെ ഡിഫറൻഷ്യല് കോസ് തീറ്റ ഡി തീറ്റ സൈൻ ഫൈ ഇൻറ്റു ഡി തീറ്റ പ്ലസ് നൗ ആറിന് ഡിഫറൻഷ്യൽ സോ സൈൻ തീറ്റ സൈൻ ഫൈ ഇൻറ്റു ഡിഫറൻഷ്യൽ ഓഫ് ആർ ഡി ആർ നൗ ഡി സെറ്റ് കണ്ടാൽ നമുക്ക് ആർ ഇൻറ്റു കോസ് തീറ്റ ഡിഫറൻഷ്യൽ ഈസ് മൈനസ് സൈൻ തീറ്റ ഡി തീറ്റ സോ അതുപോലെ തന്നെ മൈനസ് സൈൻ പ്ലസ് ദെൻ ആറിന് ഡിഫറൻഷ്യൽ ഡി ആർ സോ കോസ് തീറ്റ ഡി ആർ നൗ വി ഹാവ് ടു നൗ യു ഹാവ് ടു ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് ഡി എക്സ് സ്ക്വയർ പ്ലസ് ഡി വൈ സ്ക്വയർ പ്ലസ് ഡി സെഡ് സ്ക്വയർ സോ അതിനെ സ്ക്വയർ ചെയ്യണം ഈ ഡിസ് ഇക്വേഷനെ സ്ക്വയർ ചെയ്യണം ആൻഡ് ഡി സെഡ് സ്ക്വയറിനെ സ്ക്വയർ ചെയ്യുക ദെൻ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അവിടെ സൈൻ സ്ക്വയർ തീറ്റ അപ്പോൾ ദെൻ യു ഹാവ് ടു യൂസ് ടു ഇക്വേഷൻ ദ ഈസ് സൈൻ സ്ക്വയർ തീറ്റ പ്ലസ് കോസ് സ്ക്വയർ തീറ്റ ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു വൺ ആൾസോ സൈൻ സ്ക്വയർ ഫൈവ് പ്ലസ് കോ സ്ക്വയർ ഫൈവ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു വൺ ദാറ്റ് ഇക്വേഷൻ യൂസ് ചെയ്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ യു ക്യാൻ ഷോ ദാറ്റ് ഡി എക്സ് സ്ക്വയർ പ്ലസ് ഡി വൈ സ്ക്വയർ പ്ലസ് ഡി സെഡ് സ്ക്വയർ വിൽ ബി ഈക്വൽ ടു ഡി ആർ സ്ക്വയർ പ്ലസ് ആർ സ്ക്വയർ ഡി തീറ്റ സ്ക്വയർ പ്ലസ് ആർ സ്ക്വയർ സൈൻ സ്ക്വയർ തീറ്റ ഡി ഫൈവ് സ്ക്വയർ സോ ഇഫ് യു കമ്പയർ ദീസ് ടു ഇക്വേഷൻ then coefficient of d r square is h1 square you get h1 is equal to 1 and coefficient of d theta is h2 square and h2 square is r square so h2 is equal to r and coefficient of d phi square is h3 square here you have r square sin square theta so h3 is equal to r sin theta now if you know h1 h2 h3 now already we have u1 is equal to r u2 is equal to theta and u3 is equal to phi so if you substitute these values in our generalized expression for gradient divergence and curl then we will get grade the expression for gradient divergence and curl in spherical polar coordinate system now the unit vector along r direction can be taken as r cap the along theta can be taken to be theta cap and along phi can be taken to be phi cap and in some textbooks they use e r cap e theta cap and e phi cap e notation you see in the books okay so now let us find out the expression for gradient divergence and curl in this case so we have already the expression for gradient in in the cylindrical coordinate system now if i find out the expression for gradient in spherical polar coordinate system so now let me write so this expression is actually in in cylindrical coordinate system, circular cylindrical coordinate coordinate system, system. circular Now let us write down the expression is spherical polar coordinate system. So del psi will be equal to 1 by h1. Now here we have h1 is equal to, now I have h1 is equal to 1, h2 is equal to r, h3 is equal to r sin theta. So del psi is equal to now there is a correction in this equation del psi will be equal to e1 cap by h1 here you have e2 cap by h2 and here you have e3 cap by h3 so del psi will be equal to the e1 cap can be written as rho cap and here you will have phi cap and here you will have z cap okay so now in spherical polar coordinate system del psi will be equal to first unit vector can be taken here our coordinates are r theta and phi so first can be taken to be r cap into now h1 h1 is 1 so r cap by 1 into do by do r1 of psi plus now theta cap by h2 h2 is r theta cap by r into do psi by do theta plus 1 by h3 h3 is r sin theta 
1 by R sin theta dou psi by dou phi. So this will be the expression for gradient in spherical polar coordinate system. Now let us write down the expression for the divergence in spherical polar coordinate system. So del dot this is in cylindrical coordinate system. Now in spherical polar coordinate system, the corresponding expression will be del dot A is equal to 1 by H1, H2, H3 is 1 by R square sin theta into dou by dou R of H2, H3. H2, H3 will be equal to R square. R square. Now this can be A1 over A R not come. R square A R plus dou by dou u2 that is dou by dou theta of h3 h1 now h3 is equal to oh here you have in h3 r square sin theta sin theta term now now here you will have r sin theta h1 is 1 r sin theta a theta r theta phi so a vector namkode vector a is equal to a r R k plus a theta theta k plus a phi phi k na represent the Okay. Now third will be dou by dou u that is dou by dou phi h1 h2 will be equal to r then you will have oh, h1 h2 a3 a3 will be equal to a phi. So this is the expression for the divergence in in spherical polar coordinate system and now i can write down the expression for curl in spherical polar coordinate system this is curl in cylindrical coordinate system now in spherical polar coordinate system we can write down del cross a is equal to 1 by h1 h2 h3 that will be equal to 1 by r square sin theta modulus then determinant of h1 is 1 so r cap now here you will have r e2 cap e2 cap is theta cap r theta cap and third term r sin theta phi cap okay then dou by dou r dou by dou theta dou by dou phi and then last uh, the components h1 a r h1 1 h2 r r a theta now h3 is r sin theta then component a phi so this is the expression for grady so curl in spherical polar coordinate system now you can write down the expression for the volume element and a volume element in cylindrical coordinate system and spherical polar coordinate system. The, we know that the volume element in general curvilinear coordinate system dv is equal to dv is equal to h1 h2 h3 du1 du2 du3. So in cylindrical coordinate system this expression will take a form dv is equal to rho d rho d phi dz and in spherical polar coordinate system the corresponding equation will be r square sin theta dr d theta d phi okay thank you